Well, 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 what have we here? A little lost human, all alone in the forest. You're lucky I found you. If the others knew you were trespassing, then you'd have been relieved of your head by now. You know, it's pretty difficult for anyone to get lost in this area. Impossible, in fact. There's a very specific path you have to take to get here, and you can't just wander onto it by accident. Which means somebody's been looking for fairy rings. Am I right? Oh, before you answer, keep in mind that lying is a crime here. I knew it. Wait, why on earth would you even want to find a fairy ring? Have you not heard the tales of the Fae? Granting wishes? Godmothers. No, 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 no. That's not right at all. I don't know who's been spouting this nonsense, but fairies are not timid little fantasy helpers. We're demons. You know, denizens of hell. Those who hide in the shadows and kidnap travelers, haunt their minds with images of the deceased, or simply just braid their hair while they sleep. But nowadays, we keep to ourselves. This world is evil enough in its own right. It doesn't need our interference anymore. So, we keep our operations in rings like this one away from the prying eyes of humanity. To make themselves feel better, humans have always reported us as small creatures. Why, a fairy in your lore could pass as a dragonfly, the glittering on their wings dismissed as a reflection of the sunlight. <laughs> Oh, they find it unnerving that we're the same size they are. Oh, but here I am, talking as though you're not one. As though you didn't purposefully trespass into one of the most private areas known to the Fae. So go on, enlighten me. Why are you here? Oh, you thought we could grant your wish. Well, if your wish is to be separated from your skin, I'm fairly sure that can be arranged. No? No. Oh, shame. Go on, then. What is it? No, 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 no. I never said that we can't grant wishes. Just that ordinarily we don't. However... You've piqued my interest, so I'm willing to hear you out. You're sick. Why? What's wrong with you? Have you fallen afoul to one of humanity's many natural curses? Oh. And there's no cure? You didn't come here to die, did you? Because now that we've spoken for a while, I'm reluctant to kill you myself. But I can alert the others to the fact that you're here and... All right, all right, I hear you. You want to live. Well, how about we make a deal? You are a rather beautiful human. And trust me, I've seen some specimens that would make the ogres queasy. But you are gorgeous. I can offer you protection from the other fae, and I'll prolong your life, curing you in the process. But you don't get something for nothing, you know. We aren't the only ones capable of deception. And I have no guarantee that you'll stay once you have what you want. 
Sure, the other fae may catch you if you escape, but I imagine that's a chance you're willing to take in exchange for your freedom. No, no, I can't have you running off. So here's what I'm going to do. I'll rid your body of every toxin and replenish it with health. But in return, it belongs to me. You belong to me. You came here looking for a wish, and I'm willing to grant it if you pay my price. So, do we have a deal? 